Oh, Boak is an easy one, I suppose. He's only missed the one game and uh, you know he's in, been in great form, so we'd always put him straight back in the side as quick as we possibly could. And uh, Jackson the same in, in lots of ways. He's a real leader of the football club, but he's, uh, you know, he, uh, he certainly leads the way with aggression and intensity of the contest, and we really have missed him for a period of time, and as soon as we could possibly get him back, we were always going to put him back in the side. So, And he's done enough training, we're OK with it. A bit like Jasper when we brought him back. You, as long as they've done some training, you feel pretty confident about what they can deliver. Is it easy? Darren can tell you that... He's physically right, but are you confident that he's got the touch to be able to get through an AFL game, particularly a, a big one like this one? Uh, no, no, look, to, to say we're absolutely certain that he's going to be able to, we know that, some, you know, you come back from footy, this is a hard game that you play, so it's going to take a little bit of time for him. We don't expect him to come out and, uh, you know, be his absolute brilliant best, but we'd like him to come out and just contribute as a solid member of the team. Is it easy to pick naturally aggressive guys after a bit of a layup? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think they certainly, uh, you know, they want to be in a contest and, uh, you know, Jack, uh, you, you just, I mean, for three weeks now we've seen he's ready to go, he's wanting to get in the contest and, you know, we're happy to bring him out there. Is Lastly. there any doubt, Ken, around them? Do they have to prove themselves properly today, just with touching the footy, getting through, running a bit uh, Jackson, no. Jackson will be fine unless something goes wrong at training today. Travis, we just want to make sure that he's handling the ball well today and uh, if he does that OK, which we expect him to do, I'm really honest, we expect him to play, so... Uh, we've got no concerns about that, but we just want to tick that off this morning. Can you do you go about your business a little differently, considering you beat Sydney, just to keep a lid on things, or has it been okay? No, nah, no, nah, they've been very good. They're a good group. They, uh, you know, they know they've got to turn up and work hard. And uh, you know, they had, oh, I think they trained really well again this week, and uh, you know they, they're looking forward to another challenge. On as, that, as a young as group, where have they developed that maturity then for what you want to see of a team handling a good win and then responding with it the next week? Well, I suppose they, um, you know, we go back to that behaviour one all the time. We, we know what we've got to do. We know how we've got to turn up and how we've got to behave. That we, uh, you know, as long as we do that, and the boys, to their credit, you know, we review hard on Mondays and we, we train hard again on our main training session through the week. And their session again this week said to me straight away that they're, they're back at work. Do, do you get into that Nathan Buckley line about you should be the favourite for this game? No, no, because I don't have nothing to do with it, unfortunately. So, uh, do you think look, it's a deliberate ploy by him to try to get into the heads of your players that they should get carried away with themselves? No, I don't think so. Look, we, we're, really, we're really confident in what we can deliver, so uh, we look forward to the challenge. What worries you about Collingwood? Oh, look, they've, they've been one of the top sides for a long period of time, and you know they're they're eight and four. They're uh, clearly in one of the form sides of the competition, and uh, you know there's lots of them that worry us, but there's hopefully a lot of us that will worry them. Did their forward structure did that play any part in, in getting Tringo back in? The, the possibility of them going tall? Or? Oh, no, I think the possibility of them having a great forward up the front in Travis Cloak was one that played a big part in it, and uh, you know we, we're very mindful that he's you know he's a significant player for them, but. You know, you look at their midfield too, and then you look at blokes like O'Brien and, uh, you know, their backs that have been running hard. There's, there's Shaw, there's, there's too many of them. They're, that's why they're a good side. They've just got lots of good players. After last week's huge scalp, have you spoken to the boys about making sure that's not just a once-off? Uh, look, I, I want to answer that by saying I think they've showed that all year. I think they've showed that pretty well all year, you know, barring, you know, barring perhaps a, 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 the one quarter up in Darwin where we were pretty poor, and I spoke honestly about that is that I think over the course of the whole year over the 12 games we've been you know really honest group. Ken not sure if you watched it last night but the Bombers game they obviously won. Uh, Joe Watson copped a fair bit of stick. What did you make of that? Oh that's not something I'd want to do. It's not, not, it's not me. I, you know, I respect the, um, the way they, that Job's been in as a player and uh, also what, what, what the investigation's doing at the moment so I think it's not something that I really want to comment on other than say that's not something I would have done. Is it sad to see that someone who's told the truth is getting handled like this by fans? Again, it's not something that I would have done, and you know I, I respect the fact that he's uh, that Joe's been brave enough to say what he had to say, and uh, you know let's let's let let it run its course and let it come out when then we'll all make a decision on what's going on.